Hi, uh, Matt Donnelly. Uh, I'm the co-host of Penn Jillette's uh, award-winning podcast, Penn Sunday School, uh, which is a comedy podcast, but obviously Penn is an outspoken libertarian, so it's very popular here in the uh, New Hampshire Free Stater community as well. Um, I first started working for Penn uh, as an intern. I knew his wife, uh, met Penn by, by participating in his wife's charity events. Um, I was close enough without being friends that when he started doing a television show, I begged to intern for him. He knew I was a comedian, so six weeks into my internship, he let me start writing jokes for scripts. They liked those jokes enough that they hired me as a writer uh, for the TV shows. And then from there, I got asked to sit in as uh, first as a substitute co-host, and then I was hired as a full-time co-host of Penn's uh, Penn Sunday School. One of the things that's beautiful about Penn and the way he conducts his life is, beyond being a, a, a libertarian, you know, he's, a, he's just such a man of integrity. So you, you hope he agrees with anything about you, because when he speaks for things, you like that. And I remember when Donald Trump was first campaigning uh, for people, he was, uh, you know, keeping like a his kind of list of people he didn't like, and Penn was one of the people he did not like. And Penn wrote a, t tweeted something out about against Donald's presidency, and Donald Trump said, "Be careful, Penn. Uh, you wrote me a letter, and if you keep talking, I'll publish that letter." And the letter was written because when Penn was a finalist for Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, it was known that Trump hated what Penn wrote about him in a book. And so he basically thought, there's no way I'm going to win money for my charity uh, the way things stand now. So I'm going to write a letter to him apologizing for things I wrote in the book. And maybe that will give me a shot to win $250,000 for Opportunity Village. And that's why he wrote the letter. And so when Trump threatened him by publishing this letter, uh, Penn just said, oh, you mean this one? And he published it. <laughs> and he let the letter out for the whole world to see. And it took all of the danger of this letter away, and he did it, like, instantly. And it was just, like, uh, because he wrote the letter without any manipulation, without any because he has integrity, so nothing in the letter was damaging to read. Uh, but only, only someone like Trump would interpret that as like a sign of weakness that you wrote a letter. Uh, and so uh, I just thought it was so, it, it's, it, just, it was just a testament to how remarkably consistent he is that even if someone wanted to bring up something from his past, he's like, no problem, take a look. So that, that, was, that was a great memory. So this is my first time out of Porkfest. I am not someone who is as deeply involved in the libertarian community as maybe Penn or, or Teller are and so obviously uh, when I was first invited out here and realized that I was gonna have to come alone but I was like oh man I'm gonna be out here with anarchists and cryptocurrency people and all these free staters and then you know and, and it sounds so uh, intimidating it sounds it can it can almost seem sinister uh, you know, I mean, I have a great rapport with everybody who listens to our podcast on Twitter and everything like that, so it wasn't like I was scared, uh, but intimidated for sure uh, coming in. And then what you realize is what every community is about is uh, finding solace, hanging out uh, with with people that you can share your thoughts with, and, and, and just, this is really just about, it. this is everyone's vacation. And so... Uh, I made sure to get here early because I was encouraged to like take in the community before I, so I, even though I had to be here on Wednesday, I came out on, I mean, even though I had to be here on Thursday, I came out on Wednesday just to kind of take it all in for a day uh, and just be, be part of the, 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 the festival without responsibilities. And the amount of families that are here, the amount of pets that are here, you know, uh, the, the casual and nice conversations happening constantly everywhere you walk. Uh, I mean, it is just, it's, it's just a lovely community gathering. It's what community, ga it's what any community would dream of having as a gathering. And so, uh, just to see this campground, uh, taken over, uh, but in a way that's just, this, just lovely, which is just as little villages and little activities. And you can just walk around in circles like all night long and just keep stopping and talking to people and engaging people and just finding, uh, people from all walks of life. And it's really nice. It's real. I'm having a great time.